Welcome back, everybody, to Subsistence. Why is that fire making noise? Does it always do that when it's almost ready to go out? I've never noticed that before. Uh, yeah, welcome back to Subsistence, guys. And we just made our door, and let's pop it in place. Boom, shakalaka. All right, now um, we need to make the BCU next, and we should have everything to do this no we don't we're gonna need more boards uh we can make three boards so i'm gonna have to go get some more wood i just uh harvested the wood here on the island right before i started the recording here so yeah i guess i will go out and get another batch of wood and stuff uh we're, we're gonna need more nails uh for repairing when we start getting attacked as well so uh, we still need, you know, tons of nails, and we will continue to need tons of nails for quite some time. Uh, so that being the case, let's go ahead and put all that stuff in there. I'm going to... Uh, I'm not planning on <coughs> uh, using this fire again if we can help it. Uh, hopefully we can get the BCU up, and then right after that we can get a wood burning stove up. So let's eat these two pieces of chicken now. Um, just so we can get that done. Uh, we're in, we're in really good shape now, of course, on protein, not too terribly bad on, uh, carbs. So I'm going to actually leave the water here and we can leave those boards here too. And we'll take this stuff with us. Uh, is there anything else I need to do before we set out? I don't think so. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. So let's get going here. So nails and wood and, well, pretty much everything else. Uh, there's a clam right there. We might as well take advantage of it since it's right by the base. There's two clams right by the base. Look at that. All right. I hope that's a, a good omen. Th three clams. Oh, shit. That's not a good omen. Oh, crap. <laughs> uh... Three clams by the base. My goodness. Okay. So we'll grab those because we can, and they're here. Are you kidding me? A fourth clam? Really? I don't know if I've ever seen that many clams <laughs> together in one place. This is going to be a good day, you guys. This is going to be a really good day. Any more? <laughs> Not trying to be greedy here, but hey, the game's offering, right? Okay, I don't see any. <clears throat> Come on, get out of the water. Okay, let's go grab this plant fiber here. Uh, I don't see anything else over there for the moment. I forgot that I can't move the fish trap all the way to the other shore. In fact, let's just destroy it and we'll rebuild it because uh, you can only move it uh, for a certain distance from its original location and I won't be able to get that across the water, so. Okay, so we're going to put the pearls in there. We're going to eat this straight up. I've got five of these so we can make a disinfection thing when the time comes uh, we'll let's keep these sticks with us so that we can make some arrows and actually I'm gonna keep a couple uh, feathers too uh, so we just need to grab some more nails In fact you know what let's just take those nails with us too but we need two nails to make two arrows okay and we're off let's try this again Here's a weapons crate, or a ammo crate, I should say. Nice, so we got two full clips of pistol. Um, we do need to start thinking about killing some level one wolves too. Oh, 
There's a carrot. Let's eat that right now. Never mind. That was a carrot seed. Okay, we'll have to save it for the garden. But we do have another ammo creek with some nails in it and some arrows. All right, we'll take it. Nails and arrows are good. And another ammo crate. I told you this was going to be a good day. All right, there's a level one wolf. Let's go ahead and get our first wolf kill in. And hopefully it will drop. There's another ammo crate. Hopefully it'll drop a liver so that we can make our first antidote. Here we go. Okay. We probably didn't need all five of those rounds, but I didn't want to take any chances. And we got a liver and some fat too. Okay. Very good. Very, very, very good. More arrows and nails. Take it. Wash your hand. Yep, yep. Uh, we should be pretty close to the pond here. Uh, yeah, so let's start working this direction. So we can get those hands washed. Wolf up that way, too. Okay, do I see a bear on the shore over there? I don't think so. All right, let's dive for uh, seaweed and pearls, and that'll clean us up, too. There's a bear over there, but he's not real close to the shore, so I think we're okay. Couple of chests. Building chest here. Come on, nails. There we go. And then, uh, I'm not sure what this one is up here. I think it's one of the medical. No, it's a building chest too. Okay, good. So we're up to 17 nails. That's awesome. We're going to always have to keep, uh, you know, some of those in reserve for repairing the base. I'd like to have a nice uh, bundle of arrows made up, though, too, by the time the hunters start attacking. Ah, oh, shit, we missed, but at least we didn't break the arrow. Uh, where is it? Right here. Okay, let me just see if I can spot that rabbit if it's still close by. I didn't see what direction it ran off in. It probably ran off by that damn bear over there. Let's just peek over the top of this rise here. Okay. All right, well, let's go ahead and start heading back. And uh, we should have everything we need to make the BCU and also our first antibiotic. Very important to have those because we are going to start killing low-level wolves as the ammo comes in and whatnot. So uh, we want to make sure we have that uh, antibiotic for that. Okay, we got a bear and either another bear or wolf that way, so let's kind of move off this direction away from the shore. I'm 
sure this tree hasn't reset yet. Nope. Okay. All right, let's just walk for a sec and get some stamina back. Actually, let's just cut, cut a, a tree. For whatever reason, Cold Games doesn't have you expend stamina when you're cutting cutting wood. That doesn't make any sense to me, but it's the way the game works, so we're going to take advantage of it. I do not know where that's coming from. There's a chicken. Oh, right there. Okay. Oh, here's a rabbit. Okay, let's see if we can get this rabbit here. That wolf's not following me, is it? Okay. Okay, we'll eat the bunny for lunch. Did we get something else, too? No. Well, we got the liver, but we're not eating that. We've got to make the anim antidote stuff with it. Okay, so let's grab this and this and make one of these. Awesome. Okay, now uh, let's uh, let's actually leave the rabbit alive for the moment and put a couple things in here. We want to keep that stuff. Uh, we're going to eat those. Let's put that in there. And what do we need for the BCU? We need six scrap, four circuits, and four boards. We have three boards here. So let's make one more board, and then we have the scraps and the circuits. And then the, the very next thing we're going to make is the fireplace, uh, or the wood-burning stove, to be more precise. And we'll probably just go ahead and put it where this one is here. You know what I was thinking, though? Because we have the windows here, I was thinking about me moving stuff over in this corner so it's a little bit better protected. Uh, but we are going to put the BCU on this side, like I said, if, if that even matters, I don't know, to see if we can force the hunters to spawn over in that area. Because we don't ever really need to go over there, you know. If we can get them all three over there, that would be that would be ideal. Um, I, I'll be surprised if that's what happens, but let's see. Okay, so we have um, done everything except for place the... Uh, base command unit as far as the little list to do list for starting out the game once that's done then our list can be crossed off and we've accomplished a major milestone in this game is getting the bcu so for those of you who are new to the game the base command unit basically it does uh, something good and something bad the good thing that it does is it l opens up you know higher tech stuff for you um, so let's just put this right in the center, which I guess is this board here. And we'll put it up a little bit too. Uh, but it also then brings hunters into the world. So we have two more in-game days-ish um, before we start seeing hunters. All right. So now we can start making the good stuff, though. So the next thing we want to do is make this wood burner. And we're going to need seven boards and three cloths. So we should be able to do that, I think. One, two, three, four, five. Nope, we're going to have to go cut a little bit more wood. And here's our free lockpick, too. So now we can open up the first lockpick uh, or locked crate, <coughs> excuse me, that we come across. And we're going to eventually be making all of this stuff. But this is the first thing we want to make. And then the second thing we want to make is the workbench. Um, because then that's going to open up... Um, the ability for us to craft more advanced stuff, including um, some guns and, and things like that. Well, uh, the rifle in particular, which is what we want, and the shotgun. Okay, so um, let's keep... Yeah, it just says in the next few days the hunters will move into the world, right? Okay, so let's put this stuff back in here. I'm going to eat these right now because we're very, very low on carbs, so that'll take the edge off of that for just a little while. 
Um, let's go ahead and drink two. And then we can put these things back. We'll keep the, the money alive for a little bit longer so he stays fresh longer. And we just need to go get some more wood. And these trees should have reset by now. So I think we'll be in good shape for wood. Yes, they have. Okay, let me get all the trees harvested on the island and then we'll come back in and make our stove. Beautiful. We'll take it. Okay, so one more board. And then we also needed some electronics and some scrap metal. Or no, not electronics, some cloth, I think. And we'll just grab them both. Now, when you make stuff in this game, um, it requires power and mass. Uh, power is electricity, of course. Mass is some kind of arbitrary... Think of it as like the fuel for the replicator on the Star Trek, uh, in Star Trek, you know, that kind of thing. That's how I think of it. So uh, we actually have to wait until we have 450 power and 75 mass built up before we can actually make this. So we're just going to go ahead and throw our stuff in here. And um, I suppose we could, the problem with waiting for the rabbit now is it's it's probably going to not, uh, it's, it might spoil before the time comes. So, Unfortunately, we're gonna have to um, we're gonna have to start this up one more time. But you know what? That's okay. Not a big deal. Uh, so let's go ahead and I'm only gonna put like um, oh, <laughs> that's not what I meant to do. Um, is it Alt click? Or is it shift right click? Yeah, shift right click. That's what I meant to do. Then you can do one at a time. Oh well, no big deal. And then uh, we have some matches here. So we'll light this guy back up. And let's fill up our canteen and get that water. Uh, another thing of water going. And then it's just waiting now. We just have to wait for that the mass and the power to build up. Now, as we, you know, go through the game, we'll be able to build um, generators for power and a mass fabricator to generate extra mass um, and the mass recycler. So those are definitely on the to-do list, but they're not something we need immediately. Okay, I'm going to put all this stuff back in here. Um, since we used those matches, let's make ourselves another fire starter so we have it for uh, when we do get the stove. In fact, let's make two more fire starters so we have a spare. We're going to have to start thinking about making some more storage here pretty soon as well. Lots to do, but boy are we having fun. Alright, let's eat the rabbit. Um, I'm going to turn the rest of the fiber into cordage. Okay, so, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's getting kind of on in the day. So I think I'm just going <clears> to, <throat> excuse me, go back out and... Uh, actually, maybe we should do a little bit of fishing. Yeah, I think I'm going to do some fishing. Um, that'll get us some more protein and oil and stuff, but we got to make some more of this. So let's grab some grubs. And we've got some sticks. We're going to make a couple more sticks. And I'm going to do some fishing, and then uh, I will bring you guys back in the morning. And we should have enough stuff to make the the campfire at that point. All right, so see you guys in the morning. Well, so much for the hunters moving in in a couple of days. There's already a campfire right across the lake there. Maybe that only applies to the actual hunters and not the rogues, but we already have rogues. Hmm. Okay, yeah, we're going to have to be start being careful when we go out. I thought we would still have another day or two before we had to really start watching for them, but apparently that's not the case. 
Okay, we got a big one this time. I think it's a salmon. Nope, it's pike. All right, we got a salmon earlier, right before I uh, started the camera back up. Uh, so I still have one of the fillets from him. Very good. Okay, let's cook these guys. And put this and this in there. And we have five uh, fish oil. Okay, do we have enough stuff to make our thing now? We have 500, 450... Uh, no, we have 441, so we have enough mass. Just need a little bit more power. Should be ready uh, in another minute or so. Some good food. Okay, got that done. Uh, let's hit the trees. And then by the time we're done with that, the... We should have enough power to make our our wood wood burner. Got ourselves a crate up here. Ammo crate. Nice. Take it. Okay, we have the power that we need. So, uh, what else did we need to make that thing again? Some scrap boards and cloth. Scrap cloth boards. And boom. Awesome. Okay. No more having to mess with this stupid campfire. Let's grab the uh, ash out of there. And we are going to, we're just actually going to destroy this. Might as well just get rid of it. Okay. There we go. Um, let's go ahead and see what do we want to do with this. I think I'm going to stick it in the corner here. Right about, I don't want it clipping. Right about there. All right, and then we made a, a couple of fire starters, so we'll put those in there. And fill it up with wood. And we don't actually need to start it right now. So we might as well wait until we need to start it. Fantastic. All right, what I'm going to do now is we're going to actually move our chest away from the windows. And we'll put it, uh, uh, let's just put it right here for now. Okay, good deal. Put all that stuff in there. Okay, I'm going to eat the salmon filet right now, and we'll hang on to the two fish steaks for a little bit longer. We're, we're pretty low right now on nails. But what we're going to do now is we're going to go out and about, and uh, we're going to go over to the Birchwood Forest because that's a, one of the places where locked crates frequently spawn and see if we can find our first locked crate with this lock pick. Um, so I will meet you guys over there. Okay, we are here at the Birchwood Forest. Let's see if we can find ourselves a locked crate. There's a, you know, different areas on the map that tend to spawn the locked crates, and this is one of them. We'll just look around. Um, there's usually bears and wolves around here, too, of course. It's not saying much. There's bears and wolves around everywhere in this game. Um, but we do want to watch out for them because there's lots of like little hills and stuff and you can run right up on them if you're not paying attention. So we shall pay attention. There's chicken. There he is. Ooh, overshot that one. At least the arrow didn't break. This uh, starter bow has a lot of drop on it, so you tend to, you need to aim high on it, but sometimes uh, you can aim a little too high. Case in point, right? Case in point. Okay. 
Here's a crate. Protein bar. Okay, we're actually in, in really good shape on protein, uh, so we're going to hang on to that for a while. We're a little bit low-ish on carbs. Uh, well, not low-ish, but just low. Why don't we drink this now, too? Okay, we've got a bear over that direction. Wolf a little further over from him. Just kind of doing a quick scan down here. I don't see any crates. Let's hit this grub tree. Oh, there's a crate there, too. A couple of crates. Oh, lock crate. All right. Our first lock crate of season two. Look at us and our bad selves. All right, look at all that good stuff. We're going to need uh, these to make the rifle. Holy crap, we got like 10 rifle rounds out of that too. Oh man, that was good. Okay, we'll take it. We will take it. Let's grab this. There's some blueberries. Let's eat those right now. Uh, before we can actually make the workbench though, um, oh good, there's some strawberries. Uh, we're also going to need to, uh, or first rather, we're going to need to make a power storage tank thingamadoodle because um, the BCU by itself can't store enough power for the workbench. But, you know, with those ten, that ten, uh, the ten bullets we just got, come on, mouth work. Uh, plus, I have more back at the base. I don't know how many I have, but I do have more. Uh, we, we're going to probably do the rifle first before the shotgun. But we'll eventually do both. Uh, because they're both essential to um, this game. They're going to help us out tremendously. Okay, now let's hit this tree. Keep getting sidetracked with other better things. Sorry about the dinging in the background. If you guys can hear that on my phone, it's my fam is texting back and forth. Okay, I think we should probably get back to base with all this valuable loot that we have. So let's start working our way back there. Um, I want to try and hang on to some strawberries because eventually we'll be able to make jam with them, but that's not going to happen immediately. So, you know, but we'll have strawberries all the way through like August. So we probably won't hang on to the ones we get now. We need, because we need to eat them now. How are we doing by the way? Yeah, let's eat another one. And that should get us in pretty good shape with our carps. Oh, uh, there's a rabbit. I was trying to to crouch, but it wasn't letting me do it in the water. Is that a crate? No. That, oh, here's an onion. Or onion seed. Let's grab that. Okay, I think I'm just going to swim across this time because here again we got some really valuable stuff and I don't want to risk possibly losing it because remember if we die we lose some of the stuff in our inventory and we've got ourselves an ammo crate right on our doorstep Beautiful. Let's refill this guy. What? That was weird. I was clearly in the water there. <laughs> There's a carrot. More stuff to loot. I'll take it. Looting strawberries. We 
we're gonna have to make ourselves a new uh, another storage bin too now that we have all this fancy schmancy stuff that we just got oh, all right so let's see where are we at with power and all of that we're gonna need uh, to make a power storage thingamadoodle we're gonna need how much really 500 power wow okay we've got it we got everything we need to make it we just have to wait for this to build up to 500 uh, because this guy takes um, 750 power oh shit you know what we have to make a mass storage thing too all right well I mean we're gonna need that stuff anyway so here's what it is so I guess the first thing then we want to do is let's go ahead and start this up and um, I have one thing of fat here we can put that in there and let's put the rabbit in to cook up and the chicken okay and then some of this stuff I already have spots for so let's just put away what we can and then we'll see where we're at uh, we have four rifle rounds so that gives us a total of 14 okay that's a new item that uh, let's eat that and this now we should have space for all of this stuff um, let's put that in there too okay so this is what we were left with um, so we got to we need room for those four items. So let's go ahead and make ourselves another chest. So we're going to need boards, nails, and stuff. So there's nails, boards, cordage. We need one more board. And let's grab the meat out of here. And we'll just put another storage bin right next to this one. Making good progress. Making very good progress. Okay, we've got our next storage chest. Wish we could stack these, but we can't, so there you go. All right, we'll put this one right here. Make sure it's straight-ish. And we'll start putting the new stuff in there, the stuff that doesn't go in here. I'm not really too worried about organizing stuff until we get a little further along and you know get some more storage and more stuff you know once we get about two full crates of stuff that's when i start thinking about actually organizing things uh for now it's pretty easy to find stuff so we'll just throw shit wherever we can <laughs> um all right so let's see here what where are we at i don't i'm not even sure i've kind of lost track of how long this recording has gone let me look at something here real quick Okay, yeah, it looks like uh, we are out of time, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the episode here. And uh, in the next episode, we're going to, well, what I probably will do is I probably won't bring you guys back until I've um, ground out the materials to make the power storage, the mass storage, and then have enough electricity and mass to make the workbench. Once we get to that point, or once I get to that point, I'll bring you guys back, unless something crazy happens between now and then. Uh, we'll make this, and then we'll start looking at making our rifle and our shotgun. All right, you guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode, and if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, and share the video. And I will bring you back, too, by the way, if we get attacked before then, which might happen. And, uh, yeah, there you go. Have a good one. Bye-bye.